Hello, I'm Sandra from the British Library and I'm going to tell you a story. A story all about a box, a golden box, and what happens when the golden box is found. There was once a family who decided to make some soup. They needed firewood, so they sent out their son to get the firewood. It was cold, so he didn't want to go too far. He searched and searched and he found as much firewood as he could carry and when he returned to his house his eyes caught something gleaming, glittering in the snow. Placing the firewood down he went towards the glittering something, reached in and he pulled out a small golden box. When imagine his surprise and his excitement. He tried to open it However, it wouldn't open. It was locked. He looked around for a key, but he could find no key. He turned the box around and then he saw a key. He took it and he placed it into the lock and with a click, the box opened. He looked inside and inside the box, the golden box, he saw a Now you have to finish the story, for that is the charm of the golden box. I, the teller, tell you the story. You, the listener, have to finish off the story. That is the wonder of the golden box. What can you find in the box? What pops out, in the, out of the box? What surprises can you discover? I have a box here. And I have many treasures inside. I have a gem. Could it be a magic gem? What story do you think my magic gem can tell? I have a key. What door do you think this key can open? And what secrets lie beyond that door? I have a beautiful bangle with lovely, lovely stones. Who does it belong to? Could it be a princess? Could it be a prince? Could it be somebody who lives in the sea? What story can you tell? And I have the sun and the moon and the stars. What story do you think this could tell? You see, the golden box was a story that was collected by the Brothers Grimm a long time ago. It was one of the last stories they collected. And this story was often told as people travelled from place to place in their carriages. Can you imagine six to eight people sitting in that carriage? There are six to eight tellers of a story and six to eight listeners of that story and so they have many stories to occupy themselves as they travel. That's the beauty of the golden box. All the stories are different. All the stories are exciting. All the stories hold a surprise. What pops out of them? Can you create a story of a golden box? What surprises can you tell? We look forward to hearing them. We'd love to hear them here at the British Library. I have written many Golden Box stories. Please, we'd like to hear yours. Thank you. I have another story and this story comes from East Africa and it's all about a magic flute. There was once a king, a king who had a secret, a king who never wanted people to know his secret so he kept it close. You see the king had been born with a birthmark and he decided that no one should ever know so he would wear the most beautiful turbans. Oh my 
goodness, they came in all shades and, and colours and everybody was always comment about them. One day, a traveller came to town and he was selling his pots and pans and all kinds of goodies. And as he passed the king's castle, he heard such a beautiful sound. Somebody was singing. Well, he had to go and congratulate the singer on such a beautiful voice. It was so wonderful. Well, he went towards the sound and it was getting louder and stronger. And when the man, the peddler, saw, saw the person who was making this beautiful sound, he stopped. He recognised, oh, it's the king, but why does the king look different, he thought. Then he realised, the king didn't have his turban on. And the king, oh, so that's his secret. Oh, I must tell someone, I must tell someone that the king has a birthmark. He quickly went to the nearest inn, innkeeper, innkeeper, oh, please, please give me a drink. What is it? What is it? You, you look like if you've, you've had a surprise. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh my goodness. It's about the king. What's about the king? The king has stopped right there, said the innkeeper. Nobody says anything about our king, about his majesty. But I have to tell you, not here you don't. Go on, get out. And he was thrown out. But he went to the next place and the same thing happened in the next and the next and he found himself finally by the river and he burst in burst in to tell somebody his secret but he could find no one but then he realized where he was mother earth i'll tell mother earth so he dug a hole and into the hole he said the king the king the king has a birthmark and he covered it up and went away well years passed and the king had been on the throne for many, many years, a long time. And so he decided to have a big party. And everybody was invited. There was going to be music and singing and dancing and lots of food. Everybody was going to have a good time. His favourite instrument was the flute. So he ordered the master flute maker to make a special flute and to create a very special song where the flute maker was honoured. He went down to the river, he looked at all the reeds and picked out a very good one and then he chiselled and he cut and he poked and he jiggled and soon he had the most beautiful flute and he practised and practised and created the most wonderful song. Oh my goodness, even the birds stopped to listen. The day of the magnificent ceremony came. Everybody came. Oh my goodness, the, the kings and the the queens and the princesses, and the, oh my, everybody was there. Oh, it was going to be a marvellous celebration. And the king, well, he sat looking so regal in the best turban to date. Oh, he just glowed. And everybody came and they were having a marvellous time. And when the time came for the flute player to play, everything was hushed. The king was looking forward to hearing his favourite instrument play a special song in honour of himself. He bowed and gave the flute maker a sign and the flute maker bowed low and he placed the flute to his lips and the flute began to play the king the king the king has a birthmark everybody looked at everybody else And the king sat up and looked at the flute master and said, flute, flute, Mr. Flute player, what are you playing there? Be careful what you play if you value, if you value your freedom. I'm sorry, your majesty, I, I, I have no idea what's happening. And that's not the song I created. Well, okay, well, play again. I'll give you one more chance. And once again, the flute maker played the song but once again the same song came out and he was dragged to prison a protest in his innocence the flute was given to the second flute player and he seeing the fate of his friend didn't really want to take it but he had no choice he took the flute and the king said 
Be careful if you value your freedom. And he bowed before the second flute and with trembling fingers, he placed the flute to his lips and played. And once again, the flute sang, the king, the king, the king has a birthmark. He too was taken to prison. Well, everybody was talking, realising they'd never ever seen the king without his turban. Could it be true? Could it be true? Their king, who, who, who was so wonderful, his, had kept, kept this secret from them for all these years. How could it be? How could they ever trust him again? Oh, oh, oh. And, on and, on and, on. and the king, silence! There was a hush. There was a quiet. I will play. The king was a very accomplished flute player. He picked up the flute, placed it to his lips. Everybody leaned forward. And as the king played, the flute began to sing once again. The king, the king, the king has a birthmark. Everybody went. Oh. The king looked at everybody. And they looked back at him. And the king bowed his head in shame. And he removed his turban in there. For all the world to see was the birthmark. Well, what was he going to do? The people would never trust him anymore. They, he, they, he had kept a big secret from them. How, you know, this was not good. But the people, they said, well, you've not changed. You still are king. We still love you. Maybe you've been a bit vain, but we forgive you. And they did. And the king realised that he had wonderful people amongst him. And so he decided never, only to wear his turban. Whenever, not all the time. It didn't matter that he had a birthmark, but people saw him as the same person. And that was what counted. Flute players were released from prison and everything was all right. As for the flute, it was placed in a very special place. It's secret safe for all time. They could never figure out how it knew the king's secret. Well, you and I know, don't we? Maybe one day we'll tell them. And my story is done. Could you create a story about a magic instrument that pops up with a surprise or two? We'd love to hear them here at the British Library. Please, share your stories with us. And if you want to draw a picture to go with it, let's have that one too. My name is Sandra. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed the stories. And we look forward to you visiting our website with many resources and many ideas to keep yourself and your families entertained with laughter, joy and story.